hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it has been a couple of weeks since i last posted a video and that is because i had a couple of exams which i'm going to explain in this video and now i've done them and i've been trying to catch up with the semester that's currently running so it's been very busy but i just wanted to pop on here right now because i just wanted to explain that this video was the first week of january it was a week that i was feeling very exhausted and i am still feeling the effects of fatigue i just saw the liver specialist this week which i'm going to talk about in my next video but i am just taking a while to get my energy levels figured out and if i seem a bit flat in this video that is why i was super exhausted also the stress of the exams that i took uh spoiler i passed them so it was worth all the work that i put in but i was really stressed about them and also starting a new semester while having to study for them and simultaneously keep up with the new material so i'm still a little bit behind but i'm starting to catch up and yeah i just wanted to put that into context and a part of me when I was editing this video, I kind of felt like maybe I shouldn't post it, but then I thought it's important to show that not every week is a great energy-filled week and it's been my life currently. And like I said, I am working towards building my energy back up. The first part of this video, we went to the Friends Experience in Toronto, so that was a lot of fun. And then I just think having that full day and then having to study just really drained me. So I just want to put that into context and I hope you enjoy the video anyways. I do have some videos coming up that I am excited about. I am going to be going on a health journey which i am looking forward to and i hope you are too uh coming along with me and yeah enjoy the video
and you said, don't you be afraid of when your life's gonna I have been having a hard time studying and I think it's because I am a bit burnt out. As I mentioned, I think in the last video, I have a couple of exams coming up the first week of school because I had to miss them due to my liver biopsy and just how I was feeling at the time. So I have a pretty big exam coming up next friday so the first week and then i have another one the monday after so it's just been really hard to study and i have been really trying to focus here and i just can't focus at home anymore and i think it might be because i've been home for so long now because i had to stay home during the month of december because of how i was feeling like i said so actually yesterday i decided enough was enough and I went to my local library and I spent three hours there just doing work and I think I was more productive being out of the house. So, so I'm actually going to be doing that again today. And then also yesterday I went and got my hair cut, which I really like it. We're still waiting for some of the top pieces to grow out. Like they're still pretty short, but it's kind of hard to tell when my hair's waved. But I'm trying this middle part, which I am actually really liking. And I kind of had a therapy session with my hairdresser. I love my hairdresser. She is not only amazing with hair, but I just love talking to her. And I've been going to this hairdresser since I lost my hair. So she works at a wig store and now she has her own hair salon. So I went to the wig store when my hair was falling out and she helped me shave it off, helped me pick out a wig. And since my hair has been growing back, we've been working together. She's been showing me how to style it at every phase. And I'm just very grateful to have found such an amazing hairdresser. And like I said, she just started her own business, so I am very proud of her. Um, her business is called Holistic Hair Care. If you live near me, uh, Toronto, GTA area, definitely check her out. Her name's Allison. But anyways, after that, I went and got a couple of groceries, and then we had some family come over and visit. So yeah, that was yesterday and today has been a bit of a slower day, but my nanny is just coming home with the car. So I am going to be going to the library shortly to do some more work. So hopefully I can have another productive day. It was really hard to get up this morning. So I am just trying to be kind to myself and I can actually spend more time today at the library as opposed to yesterday because I had my hair appointment yesterday. So yeah, let's get to it. It's been a minute. It's been a couple of days. I've been trying to study, but I've also been feeling very tired. So I went and got some blood work today. And then I went grocery shopping because I'm going back to school tomorrow. And I needed to pick up some things. So I'm just gonna do a little grocery haul. Okay, so we went to Metro because that was close by to where I got my blood work. And I got some arugula. I'm gonna have some wraps for lunch. Lunches. Then I got 
some grapes. Strawberries were on sale and they looked pretty good. So got some strawberries. Haven't had strawberries in a while. I got some of my yogurt. This is coconut yogurt. And then I got two original unsweetened almond milks. These cartons are what fits in my mini fridge at school and I use it mainly for my oats, but I get the unsweetened original in case I want to cook with it. And then I got two of these Karma probiotic waters. The only place they seem to sell them now are Metro and they have this in the top. So it's like a probiotic drink. So there's some good stuff in there and it tastes really good. And then I got a new kind of vegan Caesar dressing because my plan is I made lasagna for Christmas and then we froze a bunch of it. So I'm gonna take some of that back and then I'm gonna have some Caesar salad with it. And then I got some unsalted pistachios because I wanted something healthy for a snack. So thought I would give pistachios a go. Also got romaine peppers and carrots and then we went to the grocery outlet which is like a discount grocery store and we got these kale crackers and then this was the whole reason why I wanted to go there they have these gluten-free bagels and they're $3.99 and usually at the grocery store they're like seven or eight dollars so I stocked up on those I'm gonna keep a bunch of them here but I'll take one pack back to school and then this this was a cool find so I found this cashew yogurt usually this is like $8.99 at the grocery store and I've always wanted to try it but for that price if I don't like it so this is going bad January 11th and today is the 7th so I'll definitely eat it by then and it was 99 cents. So, excited to try that. And then I got one of these chocolate bars. They are the um, Christmas flavor. So this is the cranberry orange ginger zing. I think I've had this one before and it's good. And then my mom got the crispy gingerbread spice and then one of the cranberry orange ones. And then they had these gluten-free brown rice soba noodles, which we tried one time and they were really good. And we're running low on them and they had them again. So we got not one, not two, six packs. They're, they were 50 cents. And this one is another kind, it's brown rice. And then I've never heard of what else is in it. I guess it says it's Oh, it's wakami, wak, I don't know how to pronounce it, but apparently it's a sea vegetable rich in minerals. So, help. <laughs> so my mom likes these too, so we usually have stir fries with this. And that's everything. Hello, it is now Monday. I think the last time I filmed was on Saturday because yesterday I just, I studied a little bit and then I had to get ready to, as you can see, I'm back in my residence. And if I'm gonna be quite honest, I was kind of dreading coming back in a way because I, I think it's normal when you have been sick for so long and you're used to the comfort of home and the people around you that are supporting you like i had my mom and my nanny they were really there for me when i was going through all of my treatment when i was home for the month of december when i had my setback with being on that medication and then having the biopsy on my liver it was a comfort to be there and if i was having a bad day at least i was home and now coming back and trying to get back into the routine of living on my own it was a bit scary and a bit daunting just being scared that 
I will have another bad day but it's something that I have to overcome and I know that coming back is pushing myself out of my comfort zone and it's better for me in the long run because at home I was really struggling to focus and I feel like being back here I'll be able to be more focused. It's normal to be scared to live on your own again. So yesterday we packed and then I came back and I organized my whole room and I cleaned my whole room so that I have a fresh start. And then today we have an online class, just one, and then I am going to spend the rest of the time studying because I have that final exam that I missed on Friday of this week and it is probably the biggest exam that content wise that I've written so I am very scared for it but I will be happy to have that over with and then on the weekend I can try to catch up and also study for another test that I had to miss for my biopsy that is scheduled on Monday. I'm not as scared for that one, so I'm gonna wait till the weekend to study, which that stresses me a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. I'm doing really well in that class, so I think it'll be all right. And yeah, I'll just show you my room. So one of the first things that I did was I organized my little pantry. So my little pantry's in my wardrobe and it was looking a little bit messy and disorganized so i just wanted to reorganize it and actually my mom picked me up some new organizer bins from costco if you're looking for the pretty organizer bins but are on a budget costco is the best place to get them because they're a lot cheaper there so i'll show you that so here it is so i kept the top pretty much the same so i just have some pots and pans and bowls and then these are my utensils these organizers are actually from the dollar store these ones and then this is my main pantry sort of um shelf i also have these baskets up here there's one that has um extra food in it over there and then that one has like plates and stuff and then that one just has miscellaneous so anyways back to here i have this little spice organizer that i actually got from the dollar store this organizer is from the dollar store and then i just have some mason jars with things in it and then these are the baskets that i got my mom got from costco so they have like little dividers in them so I put like my snacks in these and these are going to last me a couple weeks so it's not just for this week. And then at the back I have those bins that we got from Costco a while ago and one of them has like my essentials for my oats in the morning and then one of them has my essentials for my protein yogurt in the morning and then i just have oats back there and then down here this is another bin from costco that we got a while ago in a pack and this just has like my tea and then my stuff like if i get a sore throat or something and just a couple of other staples and then randomly i have all my hair tools back here which i only have like two hair tools but this one is like a blow dryer with like different attachments. So anyways, I need a big bin. And this big bin is also from the dollar store. So, yeah. I was very proud of that. Now, this is my fridge. So I have everything pretty much prepped for the week. So I have some hard-boiled eggs, some salad mix, some fruit... I brought some lasagna from home, like I said, and some vegetables and some more fruit. So just lots of easy, healthy foods. I got some wraps to do for lunches and some romaine for some Caesar salad. And yeah, I will be eating good this week. 
And then I just cleaned up the floor. And I also wanted to mention that I got this with my, I got an Amazon gift card for Christmas. So I decided to get this little charging station. So you put your phone and you can, it's not plugged in yet. Um, and you can put your watch and you can also put your AirPods right there and it charges all of your devices and it's only one thing to plug in so I don't really have very many outlets so I was finding that it just would look really messy to have all of my cords like kind of out and I used to have them beside my bedside table and yeah it just looked very cluttered and unorganized and also I want to have a charger in my backpack in case I like go out somewhere and then I need to charge my phone or something and I only have one charger for each of my devices so I thought having this like station I can just keep that in my room and then I can keep all my other chargers in my backpack because I also when I go home I have to take them home so already having them in my backpack I thought that'd be better so so this video is going to be up a little late just because of the exam that I have on Friday but then I'm going to try very hard to be back on a consistent schedule and I think that'll be easier once I get these exams out of the way. I do have a very, very busy semester, which I'm a little scared about. But last night I also went through all of the syllabi, syllabuses, <laughs> um, all of the course outlines to figure out what I'm doing. And then I also put together my Google Calendar. So I'm feeling better now that I've done that and I've gotten that out of the way. And I'm feeling more excited about this semester. There's a lot of topics that we're going to be discussing this semester that I feel like are things that I'm actually interested in and not so much like the stuff that we had to do last semester that I know was important to do, but it was like not very exciting. <laughs> so anyways, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have any videos that you want me to do, let me know down in the comments. And I have quite a few videos planned, but if you would like to see something specific, let me know. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.